appreciate me if you Boy, y'all want power. God, I hope you never get it. I hope the American people can see through this sham. That you knew about it and you held it. You had no intention of protecting Dr. Ford. None. I've tried to give my best advice and share what we hear and what we see because no one's paying attention to the message from this administration right now. Maybe today you respond to my request to learn what the plan is. Hopefully you'll take this challenge to rebuild the trust, not just with me, not just with my colleagues, but with the American people we all serve. When the New York Times has to call President Biden out on executive overreach, you know that President Biden has abandoned the promises that he's made during the campaign and that he made to us on inaugural day. He's not a conservative. He is not a liberal. He's not a Democrat. He's not a Republican. He's not an independent. He believes in Donald Trump. Here's the reality. We can't do that because we'd be upsetting the president, the president of the United States. I can't believe it. But no, no, no. Gosh, we, we might poke the bear. It's a language I've been hearing in the hallways. We, we might poke the bear. The president might get upset with us. The United States Senate right now on June the 12th is becoming a body where, well, we'll do what we can do. But my gosh, if the president gets upset with us, then we might not be in the majority. His party lost ground in the House. They split the Senate and they maintained their trailing minority of governorships, but they seem to ignore that. In his first 50 days, he did 34 executive orders. And I would say to my colleagues, particularly those on the other side of the aisle, who have heartfeltly fought hard for not cutting Medicaid drastically, for keeping pre-existing conditions, for not doing tax cuts to the rich while you're cutting health care to the poor, don't go along with this motion to proceed because you know and I know what it will lead to. And you know what? They are right. This economy has not been fair to the working men and women of this nation. It has the strength to pull this fully loaded. I had a terrible time learning how to read. And I got to tell you, when I was a kid in Vermont, there were no IEPs, there was no special education, there was no help outside of the single teacher at the front of the class and a blackboard. So Speaker McCarthy got himself into this by the promises that he made along the way. And with that, I hold on to the balance of my time. Parents are having to explain to their kids how they can go to church and feel safe. And that's not something we ever thought we'd deal with. Having said that, we are a strong and faithful state. DirecTV, proud to support children's programming on PBS. DirecTV delivers access to over 210 channels of digital entertainment, including family-oriented movies, music, and cable networks. So what are you looking at? 